Good morning, everyone. I'm glad that you are joining us today. With me, I have uh, a can of shaving cream and an empty glass. And you've probably all seen shaving cream before, but I'm going to show it to you today just as a visual. Um, I'm going to transfer the contents of the can of shaving cream into this glass. And it just keeps going and going, kids. And it just keeps going and going and going. I'd like you to think for a second about the shaving cream as love. The contents of that shaving cream in that can do no good staying in that can. We need to let it out. We need to share it so that it can be used for its purpose. The same thing is true of love that we have inside of us. We shouldn't hold it and hide it in because that's not what God intended. We are loved deeply by God and he wants us to share that love with other people. Love like Jesus did. He is the master of love. Listen to what he tells us. Let's see if I can do this with the balancing act here. Listen to what he tells us. He says, a new command I give you. I heard some gasps over there. Um, thank you, that was my clue. A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, you must love one another. He's not saying this is a suggestion that I have for you. We are instructed, even when it's hard to love people, because it will be sometimes hard to love people because they might be unkind to us or they might just be doing something mean to us. Love one another. We are loved by the master of love, so let's share his love with other people in all that we do. As you go about your week, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, remember you are loved and share that with others. Hold your hands and pray with me, please. Gracious God, thank you for today. Thank you for a beautiful spring morning. Thank you for the people who are gathered here, and thank you for the reminder of your endless love for us and help us to share it with others in all that we do. In your name we pray, amen.